folks what's up everybody welcome back welcome back to the crib how you doing guys <laughs> all right um oh damn <laughs> gonna have to do it all right folks all right i'm gonna do a little timeout a little timeout timeout <laughs> i know that i always try to say that i'm a drama free channel and i do i strive to be a drama free channel I, I really, 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 really do. Even with the stuff I cover, I know a lot of people think that might be some weirdos might think that's hypocritical, but you know what? I could talk about it, number one, and number two, make jokes about it, and number three, not be like that. Um, but what I'm getting at is, before I start tonight, hey, Ann, what's up? I want to get into some problems that have been going on in the community and what i mean by that i mean and this is always the case like a 90 percent of people are awesome and it's always the case 90 percent of people will be awesome and a couple of losers will make a problem for everybody Oh no, Shanny's here. <laughs> Everybody hide. <laughs> um, but I'm not even talking about Shanny here. Our own, our own, our own people. Now, what do I mean by that? Okay. Let me give you a scenario. If somebody comes to me, and this has happened before, and say, hey, Draven, somebody in the community or somebody in another community is giving me crap. I always say this. Okay, I'll find out. I will talk to them. Do you have any receipts? Every time, every time, because I've been doing this for a while. And that's why I feel like some people, some of these newer creators, I don't want to punch down, but some of these 500 around sub creators got there because bigger channels like mine and like Grampy's pushed them up. They would never have gotten to this point without us. So they need to count their P's and Q's. They need to know, stay in their lane and understand you're still a small channel. We make you, we break you. Yes, exactly, Grampy. What is up, bro? What is up, bro? Uh, yeah, and poor people like poor Grampy here had to be lopped into some bull crap drama that is not his drama to deal with. Okay? And it's not mine either. And sometimes this these what drama in the community? Well, it's... Well, I'll say this. If anybody on my that watches me got blocked, please let me know. I did unblock a couple of people that got blocked for no reason. Don't know why they were blocked. There was a person that was that used to be modded. Hey, Jellybean, what's up? Hey, uh... Yes, you are, definitely. <laughs> uh, there was somebody that was in the group that... I uh, took their wrench away because they abused it. And it's annoying that there was a wrench abuser. Hey, Penny, what's up? And hell yeah, I'm going to uh, take their wrench away because that's bull crap. And all I'm going to do is say this. If someone's bothering you and you don't like the creator's, ex uh, you know, um, you don't like their way of trying to help you out, then... You know, don't keep bothering them. Don't send a bunch of emails. Don't send a bunch of text messages. Because you know what? I'm telling you right now. No one ain't going to read that crap. No one ain't going to read that. Not in Discord. Not in emails. Like, no one has time to read a book of text messages or emails. Cut the shit. Okay? Like, seriously. Cut it out. I don't want to hear about Robin's doing this. Or this person's doing this. Or that person's doing that. They're my troll. They're my troll. I don't want to hear someone tell me that you shouldn't listen to Carrie because she wanted to be Shani's friend. How can we trust that bitch? Like, whoa, that's my friend you're talking about. I don't want to hear someone say, well, you know, Grampy Lobster's an old man anyway. He's just going to die. So it doesn't matter what he thinks. I don't want to hear that. Okay, keep it to your damn self. And how dare you come into our community and start that shit? How dare you? Who, where do you think you are? Where do you fucking think you are? And that's all I'm saying. You know, I could really blast this person and say their name, but I won't. I just hope they get the damn message. Stop. 
No one cares about you fought somebody, you gave someone your details or whatever, allegedly, because there's no proof. Just please stop. You know, I had somebody block a bunch of my friends and they thought I was mad at them. And I said, no, I'm not mad at you. And I took all day today. Exactly. Carrie did feel what she felt was right. But there was a person that tried to put a wedge in between me and Carrie for no reason other than, I don't know if it's jealousy or I don't know. I seriously don't know, but I'm sick of it. And I know Grampy's sick of it. And a bunch of us are just sick of it. Exactly, Jellybean. But some loser, and I, and this loser was giving Shani money and in her chat on a different sock account. Huh. Keyword sock account. And I think it's funny that she did, if not the same, but more than what Carrie did. But Carrie got thrown under the bus. I realized right away that took this person's wrench away. So all I'm saying is, you know, if this person doesn't understand that they don't have an imaginary troll or whatever, then they need to get out of our community. But please bo stop bothering the other creators. No one gives a crap. We did look into it. It's a nothing burger. But again, maybe because when some people start doing this, and they just started doing it out of nowhere and got pushed up because we were propping them up. Maybe they need to get up there on their own merits, you know what I mean? And then they will see, uh, oh my God, I got a bad, uh, a mean troll account. Oh my God, we've all did. But I think some people need to go through that shit. Yeah, me too, Crash. I am tired of the drama. If you don't, if you don't want to deal with it, get the fuck out. Yes, <laughs> but that's it. That's all. Otherwise, welcome to the crypt. Let's have fun. All right, so uh, Rev responded. Well, I'm, I wouldn't call this a response. I don't know what I would call this. I would just call this Rev being Rev. Uh, but he made a little video last night. So let's check it out, shall we? And by the way, thank you all for being there. Like the stream, subscribe, and I love everybody. <laughs> and let's get into it. Thank you all. All right, uh, let's see. Hi, YouTube. Hi. Uh, this is Jason William <laughs> Egroff. Uh, that is formerly Revelation News on the the platform of YouTube. Uh, you're just looking at the, the art for uh, Paranoid, uh, the, the Black Sabbath album, P Paranoid. Uh, yes. And I am telling you that I want nothing to do with anybody that, that does YouTube. I don't want anything to do with anybody that's in a chat room. Now, you, would, you would think, you would, you would think if, if that's true, then why is he making this video? It's because it's not true. You know what I mean? It's more bullcrap. But that's fine, Jason. That's that, that's that's fine. But uh, you know, just so everyone knows, like you know, if you really didn't want to deal with the quote quote drama, then he would uh, not be making any videos, right? On YouTube, uh, I, I I literally have nothing to do with this shit anymore, <laughs> and I especially want G Man to hear this. G Man, I do not talk to anyone on YouTube or from YouTube. Isn't this dude either selling your house or living at your house or whatever the hell it is? Um, what's going on here? I know some people think they're in a tent, but that wall in the back, I mean, that's a yellow wall. <laughs> I mean, really, he'd probably be better off in a tent, less fleas and lice. But uh, I don't think they're in a tent because I hear those damn uh, fans going you know, you got you got to have a bunch of fans to make sure you cool down all that meat. <laughs> so if people are telling you that I'm telling them things, you're wrong. You're okay, wrong. I hate this platform. I hate everything having to do with it. Sayonara. Yo, you are exactly right, uh, Traveler. If he was smart, he would capitalize. You're, you're exactly right. People are like, dude, why don't you just make videos? You know, people will watch them. Can an old crusty print <laughs> Um Yeah, okay. Fuck it. Hold on a second. That's fine with me. 
Well, hold on. Let me, let me, uh, let me, uh, let me, uh, put it, let me have it a chat, um, decide. Or actually, you know what? I could do it like this. Because I always want to be for the people. But, uh, hold on. I'll do a poll. Or fucking. Hey, what? One's in the chat. Should Grampy Lobster join? Suckers. Is that it, Rev? Wow, he actually... All right. He actually... He actually was able to finish it. All right, all right. I see. I see the ones. Okay. I see. Like I said, it's always for you guys. Okay. Ugh. All right. Well, let me just let me just send him a. Let me just send him a, a link. And you know, I'm telling you guys, a lot of people think that this is so damn easy. It's not as easy as people think. You know, first you got to have the right browser. Then you got to make sure your VPN is off. You know, then you got to make sure you get the right videos and the right this and the right that. It's a whole thing, folks. Folks. It's a whole thing, folks. And I don't like it that why people think that um, doing these videos are so damn easy. It's not so easy, folks. It's like, how about you go out there and, and do your own voices? <laughs> <laughs> All right. I sent somebody a link. While we do that, I will play the next video. And I hope everyone's having a good night. Oh! Hey, I know this guy. I know this dude. <laughs> Buddy. Can you hear me? Uh, no. Hello. <laughs> yes, I can. <laughs> I uh -oh. I'm just playing. I'm just playing. Hey, look, Grampy. It's your favorite friend. Oh, fuck. <laughs> I hear a background. I don't know if it's me or you. Uh, I'm sure it's you. Oh, probably. How's that? You better? Nope. You know what you really gotta do is you gotta uh, get like uh, one of them screen things that go over the top of the mic. It really helps. But uh, what? How you doing? What's up? You hear my little uh Yeah, my I'm, little I'm rant? doing Yeah, I'm doing fine. I got this mic that um it's it's got a mute button, it's got a volume button, but it just doesn't but it, then there's like no directions. I don't know. And it's got yeah. lights and shit, so I'm I mean, trying to figure it out. Yeah. If I were you, I would invest in like a HyperX. It's the mic I use. I love it. I'll never use another mic. I mean, it's oh. the best USB okay, well, how, mic you can get how, for something like how, that. How, how much? How much are you spending on a mic, though? I got it online for like eighty. Okay, so you're yeah. already spending twice as much as I spent. <laughs> hey, man, you but you you get what you put out, man. Oh, I know, I know, I know. People love my mic skills. <laughs> I love yeah. it. It's like a very like chill, like you know what I mean. And the thing is, it has a light, so I know when I'm live. Yeah. Well, this is. Uh, I'll figure this fucking thing out. <laughs> All right. Uh. So while you're here, I mean, I didn't like I said I wanted to be vague because I'm okay, trying to I get. Okay. I found out the mute button. Okay. Now let me try this. Can you hear me now? Oh, I've been hearing you this whole time. Foods. You hear me? Foods. You hear foods? foods can you hear this <laughs> let 
man. Okay, you couldn't hear me say foods, 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 foods. Okay. Yes. I, I know. Me now. Okay, so I know where my mute button is. <laughs> well, good. I I'm glad, bro. The rest um, of it, I just really not. I'm stoned. Yeah, I'm probably feeling some old effects. Um, but hey, since you're here, yes, I wanted to be vague as as possible. Yes. And when I saw you were here, I did. You know, I I I am sorry. I apologize for using the words "grampy" and "dying" in the same sentence. Oh no! Fuck. I don't yeah, but well, it bothers me too because you're actually my friend, and that's well, the problem. Look, look, like, look, I like you. <laughs> look, let me explain. Yes, I, I've explained this over and over before. I have a weird sense of humor. I know what's going on. Okay, mm -hmm. with me. Okay. Yes. Um, I try to have fun with it. So if somebody is like, "Oh, Grampy's dying," I. Yeah, well, usually me neither, except for when it's yeah. from bitches that can dish it out but can't take it. Hashtag oh, neckbeard gang. <laughs> Who's the neckbeard gang? <laughs> I don't know. That's for you to fucking figure out. Oh, <laughs> Somebody else playing, that needs to bro. warn me of something? No, I'm just playing. Oh, but all God. I'm trying to say is, you know, I know that you, that's why I wanted to put you on. I know that, you know, I don't want to go too far into this, but I know that mm. you and me... And a couple others were getting inundated with text messages and emails and blah, 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 on dumb bull crap that I actually looked into. Nothing there. Big I didn't burger. understand any of it. Me I, either, I, bro. I still now, somebody used to be somebody that used to talk to somebody, and they're looking out for me, and I should watch my back, and then... I, after that, I don't know. <laughs> yes, you know what? It's it, dude. It's it sounds like what I I had to go through, and I just you know, there's a difference between someone saying something to joke around, and then someone saying something like out of hate or annoyance, and that's all I'm trying to say. Um, but I'm not. Gary, I it, promise but... I'll never bully you. Okay. Yeah, big boy. All right, I'm going to play G-Man. All right, here we go. Hello, everybody. Welcome oh, to the S.O. and your right. YouTube channel. We're going to do a quick recap. I'm going to talk the, about uh, these APS hair. Show I was just going for the non sequitur show. Hosted by the one and only Steve McRae, in which I had a good old fun old time over there. I bet you uh, did. A couple little things happened over Rehashing here that I wasn't necessarily Steve expecting, but I think I handled it okay. Uh, well... I mean, for my viewers watching, I don't know. Oh, no, no, no. I'm not talking about you. It's just, uh, it's yeah. like, oh, God, here comes Steve McRae again. Fuck. Oh, oh, no, I was asking. I don't really know much about that whole thing. If you could fill me in, that'd be great. I'm not the one, really. Um, I, just, I haven't liked Steve. Be I was saying fuck Steve McRae before uh, everything happened. Because the way he just acts, you know. So. Okay. Uh, there, it, it, there, there was a lot of uh, uh, non sequitur show uh, fans watching, but then then there was a lot of trolls watching too. And some of the trolls actually got into the room. Uh, some of them are like, uh, "What's I got? A Hannibal or Monty? I'm not 100 percent sure." But from the Hannibal and Monty show, he was there. Uh, I'm starting to understand. Uh, uh, this lady Ann Kennedy was there. I think that's who that was. Oh, uh, Jules shout out to was there. Ann. Uh, obviously, they didn't want Steve to know who they were. I made sure to tell him afterward. Uh, but um, <laughs> for the most part, the show was fun. I have no complaints whatsoever. But I am going to address some of the things that actually happened on the show. We're going to we're going to put it with the whole you know atheists are hypocrites. Well, the reaction atheists are hypocrites. Uh, 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 narrative that we've been building on this YouTube channel. But again, everyone, welcome we, to this. We uh, are, we are hypocrites. Yeah. Well, hey, I, I got a question. Why does this guy think that everybody who criticizes child abuse are atheists? That's kind of redundant. Because my... G-Man's retarded. <laughs> okay. Basically, well, he's, he's got one mindset. That's his word that he uses. 
and that's it. You know, you don't like this? Oh, you're an atheist. You know, I mean. Did it come from anywhere? Was there somebody that was like a big atheist? He's that always, was like... G-Man comes from the old atheist, Christian, um, uh, creatism versus evolution crowd, the great d debate community where he just, he was, he's been a clown for over 10 years. Um, it's always, you know, if you don't like him, you're an atheist, you know? Okay. So this ain't nothing new. Well, yeah. 10 years. That's a long, that's like somebody time. else. Like some people will say, you don't like me. You're a fag. You don't like me. You're a chomo, right? Mm -hmm. G man goes right after the old atheist thing. All right. Well, I, I get that. I get that. But please, please, with the with the with the F word, there's people in the chat. Oh, that, I know, I know. I only used it because of you know that you know. Oh no, that's you know what? But no, I get you. That's what G Man says. You know, and that's what really messes me up. That G Man can say something like that, and meanwhile, like his biggest simp Shanny, has, you know, uh, a child who's like bisexual or gay, and but then but he'll still use that word. I don't get that. You know what I mean? If, if it's such a big deal to, you know, not, not it's such a big deal, but I think he's got so fantasies, man. <laughs> yeah, he does. Yeah, he does. Um, sowing and reaping a uh, YouTube channel. Now, first of all, shout out to Veckel and the other Christians that were watching. I know you like to laugh and rip and licking. Um, I know a lot of you were just telling me to go get them and do all these other You're things and whatnot, but you know, as Veckel says, an atheist is just going to be an atheist, and atheists are going to behave the way they behave. It's just that simple. You know what I mean? I don't expect them to act a certain way. I mean, to, 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 to act like normal people. But I want to just go over some of these topics that we talked about on the um, on the non sequitur show. I'll put the, the link out there for some. You know, I showed this to people that have nothing to do with any of this stuff. Like, they're, hard, they're actually like hardcore religious Christians. And I was just like, here, this is a religious channel. It's called Sowing and Reaping. He's, you know, religious. And they were like, that dude's the devil. <laughs> and I'm like, oh, really? And they're like, yeah, there's no way that this is religious at all. It's a mockery. It, it, you know, he's trying to use that, uh, you know, as a shield and everything that we say. And I'm like, okay, well, thank you, random people that don't know anything about this. But I thought it was funny. Oh, yeah. Hey, listen, um, I just wanted to come in uh, for a couple of minutes. Okay, yeah, say no Say hi, problem, you know, and stuff. And uh, say hi to Jelly Bean, Nick James, Isabella, this uh, well, thank you, Twister and Amber 2017. Because well, unless very much. My, my day wasn't complete, <laughs> Till I said hello to Nick James and Mr. United for the Children and Amber and everybody like that. So you guys, hey, uh, I'll talk to you guys later. Thanks for letting me in. Yeah, have a good uh, one, man. Have a have good a, night. Have a good show. All right. Thank you, bro. What a good guy, folks, right? What a good guy. You would think, how could anybody wish death on that nice man? <laughs> I know, I know, I know it sounds like a joke, but believe me, folks, I, I'm not making a joke. <laughs> you should see the messages that I've seen or that Carrie scenes, but we're not going to uh, give this person shine a light to them because I am not going to have this jerk off get some sympathy for me talking. All I'm going to say is that person just better just walk away from our community because we all are hip to what's going on. And that's what happens. You mess around, you find out. So that's all I'm saying. They should just walk away because they're exposed. They showed their ass, all that dumb mumbo jumbo. <laughs> all right, back to B-Man. I'm coming you to join if you want. But I'm going to make sure I say what I got to say first because if I don't. And then in a little bit, I have a nice uh, show. I have a nice little locale compilation I want to play. This way you guys can tell me which locale I should look at next. I will never get to say what I want to say, and there will never be any clarification. So, first and foremost, on the topic of women, I want to get to this right now. <clears throat> oh, here we go. Um, some people believe that I believe that a woman's place is in the kitchen. And yeah. that I believe... <laughs> I love how this guy laughs at that, but 
dude that's is what you believe that that that's exactly what you've said it like multiple times i mean you refer to to uh females as woman you need to do this woman hey where's your husband to put you in line you don't think a woman's place is in the kitchen then why are you saying that their husband needs to put anybody in line you know <laughs> meet my wife she will kick your ass in minecraft and in real life i didn't say that <laughs> prove it, yeah, folks. it, was, it was pretty, pretty. <laughs> some of them believe that i believe that one, a woman places in the kitchen and i believe yes, that their place um you know and that they need to make babies the only people if you really pay attention to who i tell that to oh i tell that to the people okay, who are being that. outright disrespectful to me some lady came in here talking about well you know what mr unite if you say anything crazy in the next 15 20 minutes i won't hold it against you some f me and all this other stuff when i <laughs> thank shut you all for being there make sure you like oh we can just shut up and go make me a sandwich go make me a sandwich in, in the hood we say sandwich but wow. i'm just gonna say it properly sandwich uh on here or whatever but I was basically being disrespectful and told her to get up behind in the kitchen and stop talking to adults like that. You know what I mean? That's, that's basically what I was doing. But in reality, any really? woman that's ever met me will tell you I've been nothing more than a gentleman. <laughs> Is that what this guy claims? That he, he did years in the, in the army? Because I, I don't believe that. This wimp here, <laughs> there's no way. There's no way. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? So, I mean, don't get me wrong. Don't get it twisted. I do believe that there are roles for men and that there are roles for women. Don't I'm not into this, He's talking you know, about uh, uh, women are men and men are women garbage <laughs> yeah. that's going on today where these men refuse to be men anymore. Like I said, if, if you yeah. want to see these women be hypocrites, don't take that's care of the kids. That's what he said to Shani. You mean, don't get it twisted. As a matter of fact, that's one of the things I like to ask these atheists on YouTube. What exactly is a real man? How do you feel about people who use hey, those kind of things? You know what I mean? Uh, especially if you live in, a, if, if you're a minority and, and, and you got a scenario where you got a father who isn't taking care of the children. I would love to know what you mean. <laughs> When you say that a person is not a real man, well, he doesn't take care of his responsibilities. What exactly is his responsibilities? Maybe all he wants to do is eat ice cream all day and cry about how somebody didn't want to date them. Like you women do or whatever. You know what I mean? So, I okay, okay, okay. Boom. How to be a hypocrite in less than like two minutes by G Man. I don't call them this. They they don't belong in the kitchen. I would never say that. Maybe he'll cry online like, like women do. Dude, which is it? Which is it? No, you're a. They got male chauvinist piece of crap. And that's why you only have your hand at night. Like I said, and then don't forget, Drag was on my channel yesterday talking about there were 64 different genders. Absolutely hilarious. So anyway, uh, uh, you don't <laughs> notice that the only people I say that to are people who are being outright disrespectful to me. Like Burnt Toast got on here and said I was homeless for like a 150th time. I don't look homeless, but she says I'm homeless. She says I'm penniless and I don't have... Okay, homeless as in you live with your parents. You have no home of your own. My God. You know what? You know what, folks? 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 Let me say this something, folks. If somebody has such a problem with their speech, where they literally have to do that, have to change you because you literally, you know, the literal sense is wrong. My God, that's stupid. That's stupid. He is, by all accounts, homeless. He doesn't have a home of his own. Is he in a home right now? Yes. Is it his? No. And that's what they mean. Hey, what's up, Brett? I have any money? Okay, I don't have any money. But then, how am I taking care of two adults? That doesn't make any logical sense to me. So what is it? They come and they, they say these different. <laughs> Dude, what, Brett, what, what is, what is going on? See, this is what I mean, folks. There is some inside, you know, F shit going on. <laughs> People fighting with each other. And I'm trying to like, be like, nah, stop. It's over. We're not part of it. Leave people alone. Stop emailing and messaging people. It's stupid. But I really don't know. But uh, what's up, Brett? And you know, like, I'm sorry. Brett's my buddy for like a year and a half. I can't kick him out. Ain't going to happen. True special sorry. things to me. And then they think they're not going to get owned afterward. You, you know what I mean? So I, I thought about it. Should I sit here and, and, and just go over the full two hours of this? Look at that face. Dude, own me. Own Draven. You know, folks, there's a reason why he don't bring me up. Because I owned his ass the last time I spoke to him. And then he timed me out. He didn't want to speak to me. G-Man is a pathetic child who also allowed the child abuse to happen. You don't think those kids told him? I'm sure that there was many notes thrown at him. Maybe something in a, in a, in a paper airplane by Zach or Will, you know. Or maybe they, they, they crunched it up and threw it at his face and it said, help me, call the cops. I bet you. And this, this guy didn't do nothing. You call yourself a Christian, but you can't even help children? 
Really? You knew you saw the state of that house of dirt and crap on the walls and stuff. You think that that's okay? Okay. You wanted them out there though, right, G Man? You didn't pay for their electric bill. You knew how to get them out. So don't sit here and tell me that you're gonna go to heaven after helping those two child abusers. Ain't gonna happen, bro. You will go to that H E double hockey sticks. You definitely will. If you believe in that, of course. This girl's vivid imagination. Or should I just pick out a couple of things and just say something about it? And that's precisely what I did. I put her back in her place. I put her in the kitchen. I put her in, and I put her in the bathroom where she should be. Because she clearly has no, you know, she, she has no room to be talking to a person like me like that. You know what so I mean? So then why should she be in the bathroom? How do you know she got to take a crap? What is this? What is this? You know, what is this? This hypocrisy. I, I, I'm not a, I'm not a chauvinist, but yeah, this woman belongs in the bathroom. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, and you and you you belong at a certain nightclub. I mean, so <laughs> that's just how I am. If you meet me in person, I am no different, and I won't bite my tongue on the topic. I am not a fan of feminism. I'm just not. I believe that these women that that hold to strong feminism are the biggest hypocrites in the, on the planet. Yeah. First, a man should never hit a woman, but a woman can hit a man. <laughs> There's never a situation where a man can hit a woman. Thank God I have my Bible and I ain't gotta follow none of this nonsense. But a man can't hit a woman, but a woman can hit a man. Meanwhile, Shani beat the crap out of Rev. What do you think about that, G-Man? Huh? That your buddy Shani did it. You know? When you guys start realizing that more people are equal, you need to stop this nonsense. So a man, a woman can hit a man if she's 400 plus pounds? Is that is that your cutoff? Because I really want to know. For the people in the back. I want to know. No, they shouldn't hit each other. And how are they equal? No, like, you can't even make an argument. Not on how we're equal like that. Now I can take my Bible and I can say that we're equal, but we have different roles in the relationship, whether it be a relationship between mom and dad, uh, the relationship between you and your woman, or a relationship, and everybody your keeps going out saying that G-Man don't got nobody and all that mess and whatnot. Like I said, you guys can read the funny papers all y'all want. You know, you, you know who, you know who has different roles in a relationship? Shani. <laughs> we, in the real world, we deal with reality, okay? For those people that want to deal with the reality, I think a lot of you know better, but a lot of these people out here are just cuckoo, cuckoo, and don't know what they're talking about. All right. So the bottom line is at the end of the day, these people, the only reason they want to know any of this, know any of this. Oh my God. Uh, Kylie, uh, oh God. Okay. Brett has, Brett is rent on the channel. Um, I think he, I think he changed his, ch uh, I think you changed it, right? Brett, you changed it. You told me that. Here, hold on. Hey, Kai, why are you having a problem with Brett? What, what is this? What is this? What is this? What is this? Folks, folks, you see? You see that? You see the bullshit? Folks, what is this? What is that? I don't know. It's like you walk around, you see a piece of shit just lying on the ground. You're like, what is that? There's hair in there. And there's some corn stuff crawling around. What is that? I, what? I don't know. I don't know. Okay. In all seriousness, uh, Kylie, Brett has been awesome in the past two years that he's been on my in my chats. Awesome. Totally straight up dude. Makes me laugh. Um, he's there when, when stuff is going down. And he always gives a positive spin. He's timed out real trolls. Um, I don't know what your problem is with him, but he's been cool to me. So I, I don't know. So I, like, I, I have no idea. Please elaborate, though. So they can be nosy and they can do to me. But yeah, that's a different channel. Except way. me, you know, I'm, I, I don't know. I just think I'm different. You know, I, I, I think I'm the type that would have this kind of stuff happen to me. I'm like, you know what? Do I got some money here? Yeah, who, who needs to pay rent? Do me a favor. Find out who this person is where they live so I can tell them to go shut up in person. That's the kind of person I am. You know what I mean? I'm not putting up with that nonsense. I'm just not. I'm not one of them people that you want to play with like that. And, and that's me being honest. Imagine all the Looney Tunes that don't tell you they're like that. Think about that. You don't know who's listening to you. You don't know who's watching you and you don't know whatever. You know what I mean? But again, uh, on a non sequitur show, yeah, that lady came in here being outrightly disrespectful and then had the nerve to come in my room and tell me that her that, that her feelings were hurt, that she was hurt by what I said. Her feelings were hurt. Not there even considering go. my feelings. All she told fixed. me to shut the boink up or whatever. Right. And I'm sorry about that, Brett. I was too busy unblocking people that this weirdo was blocking because she thinks that everybody... Yeah, right? Drama, drama everywhere. Because some weirdo thinks that everybody is her quote-unquote troll. You know what's sweaty? I will fix it. I will fix it if it this damn near kills me. 
hey man everyone just chill um do your drug of choice to make you calm and just relax this place is not about that the crypt just has mods to get rid of trolls not to just time people off for no damn reason this is a chill zone if you can't be chill you gotta go it's just i don't make the rules man i just help the chat <laughs> and that's really it you know like yeah you got it it's a chill place this is probably the most chillest place on here because people won't just bully up on people unless you're clearly trying to piss us off they yeah and then we will eat you alive <laughs> right who the heck you think you are oh yeah how about you shut up and get in the kitchen that's my attitude but anyway we also got into some yeah, uh probably. conversation about like you know uh whether or not we was on the moon we you, i'll put the link out there you guys can come in here and join we can talk about that and what we said on the non show i'm gonna put the link out there if you're a christian and you are watching getting your laugh on you can come in here and you can uh, mention that too if you would like but um the reason why i constantly call these particularly the reaction people uh well i saw her from the on the side brad did you time her out <laughs> well whatever i don't even understand what that beef is about and you know what if she can't under uh respect the rules then she gotta go I'm not really talking about Steve McRae and I'm not talking about it. the other guy I was talking to because I think for the most part when it was just me and him people see how I am when I'm not dealing with trolls when when when, when I'm dealing with adults and we're having adult conversations we're okay notice it always becomes something else when you get the intellectually inferior people coming into the room who only know how to start trouble and that's it this is how it is and I hey, prove Patty. that every single time I go somewhere or whatever so their big secret plan I think was was to come in the room and go you see this is why nobody should talk to G-Man G-Man don't know how to know that's not what happened you see, when you have people having uh, serious yeah. conversations or adult conversations, and yeah. you're trying to find out what how people think and what and what they believe. And by the way, shout out to Godless Girl. And you know what? You know, I'll just say this for the people new here that don't know. I would never, I would never just be mean to some random person that doesn't know anything about anything. But what I will not do is stand for some rando telling me how to run my channel okay not going to happen kick rocks uh lick grass whatever they say <laughs> kick ass and leave us alone right yes thank you thank you oh thank you thank you yes you in the back thank you yeah it probably is it's probably a stock account for cj it probably is so yeah i'm not gonna do that i'm not gonna kick out a friend of mine like two years in the making it's just not gonna get it's just not gonna happen if someone supports me yeah all right i'll kick them out random person i've never seen before ever <laughs> I, i'm sure that this will work out well who actually showed up in the stream i'm actually cool with godless girl godless girl hates stupid atheists they don't like atheists she, she doesn't like uh, uh atheists that don't know how to debate and believe me there's a lot of them out there and godless girl would have creamed any one of those people that normally watch his YouTube channel that went in there. Steve McRae is not as easy as some other people. Steve McRae actually knows the arguments. A lot of these people that's following, you know, uh, Baldy Locks on the other channel over there, Dragnut, uh, the people that are following him, they don't know how to debate worth a lick. You're they they really Rando don't. Crash. They don't know how to present anything. They don't know how to talk. They don't know how to act. They all act like they're on sugar. They all they all act like they, 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 they suffer from hyperactivity. Yo, they're on more than sugar, bro. Believe me, like your little your little buddy there. <laughs> That's more than Delta Eight. Nah, Crash, you are not random. If anything, you you are not you're not random. You got your wrench, bro. <laughs> or whatever, and eat their Ritalin or whatever. They don't know how to. And behave. you support me. And and it's because of the leadership that they're following. Yes, like, he does. You know, like, he uh, does have the worst. You, know, you are who you follow. Man, I would never never want to go to school and where is he where is he from newark jersey city somewhere in dirty jersey i mean of, of course of course he, he talks like that you know and no shame to my new jersey people but i know there's a couple of bad apples over there <laughs> you know he must be in the toxic waste part of the of new jersey <laughs> the part where they allow child abuse to happen i guess that's what it is or whatever but um 
I, I think the whole goal was, why did you want to invite G-Man on here? Uh, why do you care? <laughs> come to Jersey City. <laughs> That's what I want to know. Like, why do you care? <laughs> and why would these hypocrites actually come on there just to, just to dog pile on me? Oh, I know. Because it's I fun. know. I know exactly why they came in here to dog pile on me. Because they have no life. That's why. It's as simple as that. They have no life whatsoever. Anyway, the link is out. Yeah. Um, uh, uh, Grasper, it's such a narcissistic thing. It's what any narcissistic narcissist does. You know, they'll just throw that out at you, make you confused. That's what a narcissist does. You ask them a question or just make a statement. They don't want to answer. They'll throw something crazy back at you because it makes you go, what? And it kind of confuses you. Classic narcissistry. What you got to do is be like, all right, yeah, atheist, whatever. Uh, but please answer the question. Really home it in ha or uh, hammer it home. Whatever. I mean, <laughs> my grammar ain't so good either. <laughs> It's just, it's dealing with these people. You watch enough of them and then you start talking weird. Out there, I don't want this to be a, uh, uh, what do you call that? I don't, I don't want this necessarily to be a, um, cause I'm gonna be on a non sequitur show again. I'm gonna be on Steve McCray's show again. I'm gonna be going on a lot of channels now that I could care less about what the trolls think. And I've proven my point that, that a lot of these trolls are just not worth taking seriously. Right here, G-Man, you see me? Right here, right here. When someone sends this to you, right here, buddy. And I'm going to keep making you my uh, weekly locale. I'm going to keep talking about you until you have a serious conversation with me. Because you need one, bro. I'm sick of your shit. <laughs> I'm sick that you can't answer a single question. Oh, look, something's coming in. Nick James has just donated $4.99 through Super Chat. G-Man talked about gaping godless girl on that Steam. He got very dark. You are who you follow. I'll clip that for my clip channel. <laughs> Thanks, Nick. Wow. <laughs> Gaping godless girl. What a name. Yeah, G-Man is the most interesting, uh, I don't know what he is, new age Christian I've ever met. Like, he'll talk about this stuff. And like you said, it got very dark. G-Man has no problem getting dark. What, uh, what Grampy just said before. This guy's been doing this for 10 years. He should have a sub a sub account of at least 10k or more. I know he has a couple of channels, but a lot of channels get kicked, get taken away, get yeeted. Um for his terms of service violations, of course. But you would think that when he wants to talk about this weird stuff, he would do it on a smaller channel to protect his bitter girl channel. But you would think after 10 years he would know how to uh play the YouTube game. But thanks, bro. I do appreciate it. Okay, because in the beginning when they were doing what they were doing, they were just trying to take all my subscribers and take everybody that was watching me. Now that everybody knows who these people are and the illegal activities that they practice and the things that they do, I don't think anybody particularly cares about them no more. So now I'm free to promote my YouTube channel. And believe you me, I'm going to be very busy doing that with anybody <laughs> but the reaction people. They've been on here boasting and bragging. Like, like, like for the life of me, I got 38 people, maybe soon only 10 people or five people watching. Maybe I'll have two people watching me. Who knows? How the heck you go from an audience of 700 live viewers 700 live viewers 700 yeah to take time out of your schedule to talk to a guy who can barely get 30. you should have over a thousand people watching you though you've been doing this 10 years and you can barely get 30 people then that math doesn't make sense man is this common core <laughs> like make that math make sense that's how you know i love rent free in these people's heads I just don't know. Ain't that right, Drag? What, what do you think about this, Drag? Oh yeah, that's 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 G Man's like biggest like I don't know own that he thinks he got something on him. I mean, okay, yes, you know how to use your Windows Paint. Congratulations. You want a cookie shaped like Jesus? The most you can do is say that he's contradictory. <laughs> you know what I mean? In his nature. You know what I mean? But to say that he doesn't exist, or that's the reason why you why, why you shouldn't believe in a God, that's ridiculous. And every time I try to point that out, I notice that they repeatedly try to switch words, change words, equivocate. They try to um, uh, get gallop and do a whole bunch of other things uh, to, to stay off topic, which is what they got to do in order to stay competitive in the conversation. Y you know what I mean? And it's not just me. I'm not special. They do it to Veckle. They do it to a whole bunch of people on here. When they know full well, they don't know what they're talking about. Y you know what I mean? Uh, again, just because God knows it's going to happen in the future doesn't mean that he's logically like, you know, okay, because his, his argument was, uh, why would God set you up to fail? How does that prove that he doesn't exist? 
they were human beings that felt you that wow are you serious uh shanny for life that <laughs> g-man also has to finish repairs he hasn't done he hasn't finished it's been a long it's been a long time you know lawn a very long time <laughs> and and the fact that like he there was that whole pandemic of nothing to do like he could have just used up his time stupid and then he could have said here when i sell this house i'm going to put that money in that you guys owe me he got two jobs yeah <laughs> i wonder what kind that that's like you want to fail <laughs> are you gonna tell me that they don't exist that's stupid you know what i mean but these are the kind of arguments that these people make to yeah, try to jobs. um these are the kind of arguments that these people make to try to, to try to justify their atheism. I'm sorry for where I sit. There is no justification. There is no justification for atheism whatsoever. When you, when you look at creation, when you look at yourself, when you look at your children for crying out loud, when you look at anybody or anything, okay, we know that an intelligence was involved in it. When we look at a watch. Yo, this stuff right here, this stuff right here blows my mind. What's up, Susan? Thank you for an Aussie, man. I love having an Aussie fan base. I never thought that I would ever have people not in the United States watching me. But I'll get some Aussies G-Man talks here. about hypocrites that support like Shani and Reverend. In, in the room. Yes, it, it smells like exactly rotten right, asshole in, in the room. It smells. It smells, Rev. It smells. Please get some Febreze, bro. Febreze. Thank you, Crash. I appreciate it. What, what was I say? Oh yeah, um, I think that is awesome though to have people watching from other countries. I'll never get over that. They'll be like, "Hey, I'm watching you from Puerto Rico, Germany, Australia," and I'm like, "Really? That is so cool." But yeah, thank you, Crush. I appreciate it. And there you go. There's a supporter there. You know, <laughs> over these non-supporters that be like, "Time this person out. Do this. Do that." Uh, how about new? How about no? <laughs> All right, back to the video. A little nuts tonight. Yes, I'm gonna use a watchmaker argument. When you when you look at a watch, when you look at the different parts and how they work together, that didn't just come magically together by itself. When you use your computer, your computer didn't make itself. An intelligent being made your computer. Don't give me this garbage that we don't have an argument for for, for an intelligent designer, which would be God, as opposed to your argument that we all came together by random chance. You can't do that. You can't do that. There is no justification for atheism. Without God, you can't even make sense out of morality. I can't believe this guy was trying to sit there and try to make an argument in a naturalistic sense for murder. No, let me help you out on this. Murder okay. is wrong across the board. There is no fictional, hypothetical example you're ever going to come up with where murder is good. And even the murderer, the person who's actually doing the murdering. And by the way, let's look at the definition, the difference between killing and murder. And by the way, it, it's funny because years ago. Oh, yeah. And I definitely believe with that. Yeah, he's definitely under the table. The Social Security Disability check because he actually qualifies for his mental, yeah, defects. Yeah. <laughs> well, I, I thought he sells barrels. What is it? Doesn't he, just, doesn't he sell barrel rolling or he just rolls the barrels? I hate to defend G, but during the pandemic, building materials went up four or five times. I know people who stopped building houses because the supply. Yes, you are right, bro. And that's it. I this ain't Draven's hug box. This is Draven's crib show, which uh, I you are right. Um, plywood, bro. I love plywood. I mean, I used to make a thousand little tree houses in my back backyard, and yeah, the supply just getting a sheet of plywood is like 50 bucks it's crazy so yeah maybe i i agree with that that maybe that could, could have slowed him down but again he could have asked uh shani and rev for some cash you know for for that house but thank you for that to go when this argument first came up i got this uh, argument from um this guy named johnny i forget his last name but he's an ex-muslim who became a christian i don't think he's a christian no more but he was a muslim that became a christian but a Christian, yeah, but actually, I think he is a Christian, but, I, but he's part of Christendom that I don't agree with or whatever I think <laughs> most of us don't agree with. But there's a difference between killing and murder. When you kill somebody, you can be legally justified for doing that. Murder is never justified because it is, it is the unlawful taking of another person's life. They're not the same thing. So when we're talking about murder, the, what? The, the... What, what? What? Okay. Hey, mass murderer. You, uh, I guess I can call you a mass killer. It's, it is the same thing. 
What? What the hell is he talking about? You can, killing and murdering is different. No, I, I I think that's the same thing. Like gay and homosexual. <laughs> it's just throwing it out there. The definition of itself should tell you that is wrong across the board. For an atheist, they can't tell you why it's wrong. All they can do is give you their personal opinion. I, on the other hand, can say that the moral lawgiver yeah, right? told me that it's wrong and show me why it's wrong. And that's a lot better than <laughs> oh, my opinion. My opinion. Sense. <laughs> but then the atheist is going to say, well, God's opinion is that murder is wrong. No. I just, I, I don't understand that killing and, and murder is different. No, it, it's it, it, to me, it's this, the same thing. If something died, it's murdered, it's killed, it ceased to be. Everything started with him. <laughs> He's the author of life. He is the god of the living, or not Jelly the beans. dead. It's Jimmy Bean. <laughs> Jim Bean. Jimmy Bean. Jimmy. All right. <laughs> and he, and since everything started with him, he can tell you why murder is wrong. There is never going to be a scenario. Listen to me. There will never, ever, 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 ever be a scenario where murder is good. There is no way that that guy doesn't know what Jim Beam is. Look at his face. It, his mom didn't drink while she was pregnant with him. Yo, he, he, he got the jowls of a mom that was drinking liquor hardcore. <laughs> Across the board, just like rape. And I asked that question on purpose. When I was talking about Godless Girl, I said that. Give me an example where it's okay to do it. They couldn't do it because it's wrong across the board. You oh, need a moral God. lawgiver in order right. to have that kind of mentality. An atheist okay. will say that something's wrong, but without God, that's just your opinion. <laughs> You're a perfect human being still learning <laughs> in this world with only a teeny, weeny, 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 weeny bit of all of the information in the entire universe. You don't even got 1% of all of the information. Right? <laughs> you're like a speck of nothing in the grand scheme of things. It's going so around talking about God like, as if you know what you're talking about. You have to be a fool to outright say that there's no such thing as a guy. I'm sorry. You just got to be. Right. All right. right. The glass so any questions in the comment section? Because I know that these, uh, I already know the, the deal. They're not going to come in here because they're under orders. They believe by coming in here, they're helping me. Yada, 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 blah, blah, blah. Nobody cares. Does anybody have any questions? Yo, I love, yo, you know what I love? I love that I just throw that out there. He's got the jowls. And then the women in the chat are like, rum baby, vodka baby, you know? <laughs> Drunkers, you know, paradise child that's like, you know, about to get in the throw in a dumpster. <laughs> it's great. Because y'all honestly think I care. I don't. Let me see. Um. Hey, Crystal Water. Uh, bit nobody bit. got no questions here. Let me see something here. What Billy on? Who's Billy? Tell Billy to click the link. How about that? Click the link. There you go, right here. There's the link. Oh, he did. Todd, if you ask me when I'm when I'm dropping your dish wrap one more time, dude, I'm gonna block you and then I'm gonna, <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm gonna release it. Yeah, right. Is Matter of fact, you probably want to be blocked. I'll tell you what, Todd. Hold on a minute. I can oblige you. Hold on. Okay. He did call himself a rumpy. <laughs> That's great. I love that. I I never heard that before. I didn't know that was an expression. No, 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 no. As a matter of fact, I'm not going to block you. I know uh, what I'm going to do. Blocking you is a waste of time. I'm not going to do it because you'll just use a sock account. I know what I can do. Okay, so so here we go right here, guys. Here's a link <laughs> if you want to come here and ask questions about the non sequitur. Now, Todd was there. Todd came in here, and his big question was, G-Man, when are you going to make my dish wrap? <laughs> when I'm ready. Next question. He's a child. Yeah, it's what it is. You, you know what I mean? Yo, is he wearing a, a onesie? Like a pajama onesie? <laughs> it looks like he's wearing, like, you know what I mean? Like those things that have the built-in feet. It looks like he's wearing one of those. Dude's 50. He's 50, folks, and he's wearing a pajama onesie. <laughs> Maybe. I don't know. That's what it looks like. There is a difference in, in the quality of the people <laughs> that you talk to. Okay? There are some people on here that are just on here for attention. <laughs> and that's it. Burnt Toast, when she makes her videos, Burnt Toast is there for attention. That's it. She don't got nothing beneficial to say to nobody. Okay? Dragnet right goes live. Dragnet is going live for attention and to make some money. He has nothing beneficial to say. When the Geek Room goes live, they don't have nothing beneficial to say to nobody. That you know one. what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right, all right, T man. Okay, I, I I hear you. People don't have valid things to say. The thing is, I I make jokes, G man, but I am trying to be fair. Okay, and all jokes of, aside, you shouldn't have ignored that 
<laughs> but she got under roof still. <laughs> yeah. Uh, you shouldn't have ignored that child abuse, man. Even if you didn't see it, I'm sure you heard it. You know, like you say those kids were, were sons to you, right, G-Man? They were sons to you. That's what you said. They're like, you know, you're like Uncle G-Man. And they didn't tell you privately. Like, things aren't great here. Rev's kind of weird. He's all with the ha ha all day. And we don't know what that means. I mean, you could have given them something. So I, I see that. Like, people are opportunists. Well, there's opportunities and things. And, and then there's people who are also trying to be fair, like myself. And Toasty's trying to be fair as well. So I think that that's not fair that you lump everybody together. Don't do that, dude. You know, like seriously. Because like I was like, I could be serious and I can make jokes. And like I'm being serious now. Like in all seriousness, you didn't do anything to help those children. So if you want to have a fun conversation or a serious, I can do either or, bro. They don't have anything. They, they, oh, the racist is here, guys. This is the guy who, who hates black people. Did he? The Jewish guy. Who hates black people? So I put that out there to let everybody know he's here. And you remember what his best friend said yesterday? And he ugly. He didn't care about the <laughs> racist joke that this person said. Remember that. So a lot of you are probably wondering, well, G-Man, why do you care about that? Right? The reason why I care about it is then why do you waste your time coming to me saying, G-Man, well, when are you going to say something to Shani? Wait, 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 wait a minute. Hold up. Dragnet just said that he doesn't care about racists. And he doesn't care about what was racist. Because when Shani started... Okay, okay. See that, folks? I want to throw that... I want to... I want to explain that. What G-Man's doing here is he's trying to conflate your question with his statement of, well, this person doesn't care about racists. But that's not what we're talking about. I mean, yes, Shani has done a racism. She has. So has Rev. But, but the... I think the bigger point of this is they're saying they don't care about that because there's a bigger thing to talk about her weight yes <laughs> and child abuse so you really got to understand that's where people are mad at they're mad at the child abuse they're not saying they don't care about her being racist we could put that on hold but the racism should be addressed now and whatever you're trying to do to spin this narrative like nice try it's not gonna work on some people a lot of people you know we could just put the racism on hold but we want to talk about the child abuse okay because it's not fair to those children who had to live there and when you were there visiting you could have done something you could have said something you did nothing but the whole n-word thing i was her first victim and drag thought it was funny remember yeah, what funny he said that you were getting like look the person that you're supporting is going against why you. am i not to be friends with shani again i'm just curious and I don't think a lot of you uneducated people out there understand these things. You know what I mean? One day, I, I believe that some of you are going to start thinking and you're going to understand that. But anyway, let me get Monty in. Monty! Monty, oh, Monty, 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 Monty. <laughs> Monty! How are you? I'm all right. I'm all right. How are you? And I, I, was, I was just saying this. I don't understand what G-Man's problem is with Monty. Monty's a cool dude. He's an artist. He draws some really cool stuff. I've seen it, and um, him and Hannibal make some great music. So what I don't understand what this fake problem is, but I guess I will listen. But that's my thing of Monty. Cool dude. Been cool to me this whole time. And I, I don't know what G-Man's, like, what he's reaching for. Oh, you came on. You came on. The Narsak with the show told me that you, that, that, actually, let, let me quote you down. You said that I would be attacking your family if I did that, huh? Yes. Let me see something here real quick here. Because I haven't been on Hannibal and Monty's show in a while here. I, mean, this is totally I like that. One second here. Go for it. Because you know, I got this whole thing about people being hypocrites and everything and whatnot. <laughs> Are you trying to tell me not to get personal with you? Yeah. That that would be a bad thing to get personal? Tell me something. Did Absolutely. you get personal with Shani and Rev? No. Oh, you here didn't? we go. No. You don't so Okay, do you support <laughs> I love how, like, when he does, he's not expecting a certain answer, he gets all animated and he's got to all jump around because he just can't understand why. Why he's just like, uh, no, it's nothing to do with Shani and Red. We're, you're, we're talking together. You see, he's the one who always reverts back to them. I love that how he tries to throw it at everybody else that we revert back to them. But he does the same damn thing. People who get personal with Shani and Red. 
What do you mean? Wait by for support it. Okay, people? man. Support them. Like, I don't know, hit the like button, visit their channel, talk well of them. Tell me something. As a black man, how do you feel about Dragnet coming on my channel, not caring about Shani calling me the N word? How do you feel well, about that, that? And before that, you think I'm going to mute you, now here's my hands. Get it. No, back up, back up. Before, like, you just jumped three different topics, dude. You, you like to talk about <laughs> All right, let's stick to the first topic. You like to talk about gish galloping, but what did you just let's talk about the first let's, topic? Let's stick to what we're talking about. We're not debating, though. Let's talk about no, the first no, topic. no, no, no. You, you can't pick and choose, bro. No, we're not debating. We're just talking. So, okay, uh, so let's talk let's like like the first people. Statement. Don't, don't ask me. Do you believe that it's cool to get personal with people? Yeah. Uh, you know what? Good on Monty for uh, catching that. That is something G-Man does all the time. He'll inundate you with a bunch of stuff at once. To, you know, it's all about confusing people. It really is. Once people realize someone's tells and how they talk, and most people, in my, to me, in my his, uh, history of dealing with people, talk, try to talk like that when they think they're smarter than you. All you got to do is be like, back up, slow that down, and then that's it. And then they uh, crumble. It depends on the situation. I don't know. I don't know. Let me give you a little bit of advice, sir. Okay. And just like a dragon, some of these other people on the internet. If y'all don't want nobody getting personal with you, then maybe you shouldn't get personal with other people because if you do, then like, okay, let me put it to you this way. Every major city, not every major city, every state in the union has a city where you got people in there that just don't care, right? Okay. I happen to be part of one of those one of them states, and I'm part of one of them towns. Okay. Okay. Um my thing is this, and correct me if I'm wrong, because I don't know how you grew up and I don't know what your upbringing is, okay? But don't you think that people that get personal with you, they kind of deserve uh, uh, people doing the exact same thing to them? Don't you think that? No, because I'm not a vindictive shit. Yes. I got to disagree with you there, sir. No. Because every last one of you are trying to get changed to Christ to hang himself. And you're trying to get rather than hang himself. Oh, I you're am. trying to get themselves. Wait, 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 you said every last one of you. I am? Oh, yeah. Oh, tell yeah, me. Yeah, you do. Oh, tell I didn't me forget why. about GTV. GTV didn't just magically oh disappear. Well, then tell me. Please, <laughs> I didn't forget please, about that. Come please, on. give me your wisdom on how I want Shani to no, do please. some shit. No, 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 no. Tell, tell me something. What is the purpose of you guys constantly talking about Shani and Revan? They're not even on YouTube anymore. I don't talk about Shani What's the purpose? and Revan. I don't talk about them. Yeah, if anybody, I'm the one who's talking about them a lot. But again, G-Man picks and chooses his people. I, I don't know. I I should probably ask Monty myself, but I am sure probably maybe a, maybe there was a time that he did more. But we all do. And but you know, G Man just likes to just single out people. Like he he's somebody who doesn't forget, you know, and doesn't forgive. You know, he'll throw that or he'll remember that forever. But he won't do it to me. And shit, I'll go on his show. I'll go on a stupid show. I got no problem doing that. I've done it before. I'll do it again. Until they say my name. They mentioned me right? and I talked about him. And you know what? Yeah, that's right. They mentioned him. They were making fun of that he was in a really messed up storm. To me, that's messed up. You know, because no one's like, hey, or like, yeah, you guys are pieces of crap child abusers. But no one's saying, yeah, go die in that storm. I think there's a difference. Maybe that's just me. How do you feel about the people that you support, like drag? No, 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 G Man, stop it. Respond to what the fuck I just said. Who? Uh, sir, <laughs> on GTV, I didn't care about the cussing and everything. On this I, channel, I care very much. I don't give a fuck about your rules. Boot me if you need to. Oh, okay. Then I don't right. care. Then I don't care about you coming in here. You're going to oh. act like an adult or you're going to be gone. And no, I'm not going to block you, but I am going to kick you. All right. What's up? Uh, this is a quick rule, a couple of few rules, guys, for you if you're going to come in this room. You come in my room, there is no cussing. Now, watch this. What? Oh, okay. But didn't you before? For my nuts. <laughs> it seemed like he did. I want y'all to remember what the argument that was made um, on Genesis chapter 3. As we Sega? go Because when atheists are usually told not to do something, <laughs> what do they do, guys? We learned this throughout the years. They play they Sonic the Hedgehog. It. Okay. Remember now, Christianity versus atheism. Respecting oh, people, yeah. not respecting people. Remember that, okay? If oh, you're in here to talk about your man. rap, don't waste your breath. What else is going on, Todd? Do you have any other things? You know what? I would do it too, but like... I know he just he just won't put me on. This dude is just so damn afraid of me. I don't know why. Like for real, I don't know. It's because I was I really was pa passionately angry at him because he, he has nothing to say about the child abuse even before this video even happened. I talked to him over a year ago about the stuff that uh, Rev was doing and Shani was doing to those kids, and he had nothing to say. So for it to get to this point, I do blame G-Man. He is as much responsible 
for what happened as Shani and Revar. You know, in my opinion, of course. Anything else going on in your life? Like the stream, folks. Attention. Thanks for being here. <sighs> what else? Anything else? These nuts. <laughs> These nuts. Why do you support a racist? These nuts. <laughs> Tell me something. How you feel about Drag saying that he didn't care about Shani calling me the N-word? These nuts. So you don't have anything to say about that? <laughs> These nuts. Mm. You're a supporter of Dragnet, right? These nuts. You're, you're you're a supporter of this guy right here, right? Yo, he really. Guys, he must have paid a lot for that clip. That's why he uses it <laughs> so much. Basically, what I'm trying to say is, is that these people these get mad nuts. at you when you try to. These people get mad at you when you when you call them hypocrites. You know what I mean? And they're literally Cody. doing the same things. <laughs> they're literally doing the same things. They're literally doing the same things, guys. That they're literally doing the same things that other people that that, that they're doing to other people. They're attacking uh, Shani and Rev's cash app. They're attacking Shani and Rev as a person. They're attacking them um, they're, where they live. They want to get their kids taken away and all this other stuff. And then Monty had the nerve. He had the gall. The, you better not talk about my kids. Not only will I do it, but I'm gonna do it with a smile on my face. Wow, lots of unpack there. Yeah, right, Crash? Lot to unpack there. Lot to unpack. Okay, so let's just break it down. For anyone who has no idea what I'm even doing and who these people are, this man is co-signing for his friends to literally legit abuse children. And this ain't, like, alleged this was true to the point where the, the kids had to be taken away by CPS for repeated abuse that was always being threatened by them, unfortunately by their piece of crap boyfriend that's there, named Rev, Jason, whatever. And meanwhile, other people like myself get involved. If this piece of crap finds out that you have kids of your own, then he will threaten to talk about them unless you stop talking about the kids that actually got abused. To me, that is really messed up. And again, if this man thinks he's going to any type of heaven, it's not going to happen. You're not going to talk of uh, some innocent man's kids while blocking the kids that are getting abused. Nah, fuck you, dude. Fuck you. <laughs> some Tell people. them to stay off of YouTube. Because the last time I checked, you guys said anybody that shows up on YouTube is fair game. The last time I checked. Who said that? I gotta make that. It up. You guys gotta figure out what you guys mean by that. You know, I, I'm really particular with who I talk about. I really need to go look into them before I try to get into it because I need to know their background. I really need to know if it's just like they did. They said one or two things, you know, made a couple of mistakes. Everyone makes mistakes in life. But there's a difference between people who just make some mistakes and real nasty people. And that's who I like to talk about. <laughs> the real sickos out there who kind of get off on it and they're freaking scary and they're like chameleons and they can blend in and it's really gross and disgusting and everything's all this that or the other some of these people don't even know that they're little cows themselves themselves i think anybody who can't forgive or let cr stupid crap go has some sort of mental issues you know, and this is from someone who has mental issues. <laughs> but like, for real, because there's such, you know, there's a saying, don't sweat the small stuff. You know, and my couple of years here at YouTube has really taught me that, you know. And at this point, I make videos. If people like them, they like them. They don't, they don't. But I appreciate it. it I'm an agnostic, like felon, tattooed, in, in piece of shit, but I do not it allow child like abuse. Family, in, in friends are a stranger. But God's G-Man overlooks it. Wow. Well, thank you so much, Crash. I, I, I legit love you, man. <laughs> you are a buddy. And, you know, I love that I've actually gotten to know you. And there's a lot of people I've gotten to know here. There's a lot of cool people, you know, but there's just a couple of crappy people who don't care about stuff like this, who like just really don't care. I don't get child abusers. I don't get how people could be okay with that or people can be okay with just people that harass people to the point of suicide. You know what I mean? Like, I don't, I don't get it. 
I, I just, I don't, you know, we can all be cool when somebody has too much, you know, leave them be. But there's just some people that to me that are irredeemable. But if someone's trying to do right and fix things and turn a, a new leaf, leave them alone. They're actually trying. They get it. Is Gavin still gone? I don't know. I, I, I really, I don't, I don't, I'm not sure. I hope so, Patricia. I hope so for the sake of that animal. You know what I mean? For the sake of that animal. <laughs> you know what I mean? But anyway, Todd, I appreciate your words of wisdom, dude. We all knew you were stupid to begin with. So, I mean, like I said, it's, it's all good. And, and just for that. Uh, you know what, Crash? I got one or two. <laughs> In my little brain of grudge holding. Because they, you know, without going too far on an online thing here. <laughs> some some people have went too far with me. And that's I why it smells man. like rotten asshole. Oh, thank in, you, in man. The room. <laughs> It smells like rotten asshole in, in the room. It smells. It, some people have like in my life when I was a lot younger, went so far with me, like, you know, brought me to that spot that this stuff, this YouTube stuff, when people come at me, it don't bother me because I've already been messed with by to me, the worst of the worst in the world. So all this stuff is like, you know, like, uh, Ralph Kramer would say, like a bag of shells <laughs> on, on honeymooners. But here, let me get back to this video. That's hot. I'm going to make my you. rap about Lubis. I won't be making Thank you all for being you. here. All right. Till you grow up. All right. But again, I enjoyed my time on um, the non sacrament show. It was different. It felt good to talk to somebody oh, who really? actually knows how to debate and how knows how to talk, as opposed to talking to Miss Parker, who's trailer park. Well, you know. I'm sorry, I keep stopping the video. I'm sure you guys have seen it. You know, screw G, man. He's such an boring, annoying bastard jerk off. <laughs> I'd rather talk to you guys. I really would. Um, Jelly Bean, my problem is people like him are trying to push a narrative that's not true. And I hate that. I hate liars. You know, I think that's really what connects me to you guys. I freaking hate liars, man. When people. Especially when they lie about child abuse. Like, what the hell? Like, I get you want to lie to your friend. If, if if I didn't know what I know about them, I wouldn't care. Like, whatever. You know, you're a friend, whatever. You simp, whatever. But you're lying about child abuse. And then not only that, but you threaten Monty's kids? Dude, I'll kick your ass. In Minecraft and in real life or whatever. Do something. Bitch ass. <laughs> like, Seriously. Monty won't have to do anything. I'll do it, bro. I'll come to your Jersey City, okay? Whatever. This is such bull crap. You know, like you are such a child abusing, what, what is it? Ableist, right? I think I'm saying that right. You enabled it. You allowed it, G-Man. You let it happen. You could have been the hero of the day. People would have loved you if you would have contacted CPS personally, walked in there with them, it took those kids out of that bad situation. You would have been the hero of the day, but instead you're the piece of shit. Trash, talking to that <laughs> poor burnt toast, talking to old man Todd, talking to right next to this who thinks racism is okay and acceptable in our society, who think the scientists in who believe that racism is acceptable in our society, and all the people in my chat that support Dragnut, scientists Sam, and these people who think that racism is okay in our society. Now, what they're going to sit there and say, gee, man, you, you allow Shani to use the N-word uh, on your channel. You're right about that, and I shouldn't have did that. You're absolutely right about that. Let me ask you this. What's your excuse? What's your excuse? Oh, you don't have one. So I'm always going to be a bigger man than the atheist community. I'm sorry. It's just, oh, it's, yeah. it's just how it is. Yeah. You know what I mean? But, like I said, it is what it is. I know, uh, Crash. Again, um, Mark brought up an argument, and I want to... Crash, you got, let me just say, Crash, you have a cool, amazing life, the stuff that you've told me, and, you know, you've made an amazing turnaround, dude, and I'm glad you're here with us, because, um, you know, you were able to turn it around, and there's living proof that people can change, you know? I've made changes, big-ass changes. Anybody can change. You just have to try. You can't just keep, you know... Uh, milk in the teeth of G-Man, you know, to get what you want instead of going out and getting a job, Rev, Shanny. Like, seriously, stop milking this guy 
uh, he ain't the milkman. You <laughs> get a job. Like, get, I mean, seriously, you'll feel better. That's the thing. These people, they, they don't even want to try. They don't even realize that you get such a natural high out of getting a real job again. You know what I mean? Really feeling it. Like, and it's it sucks that Shani and Rev will never feel what it's like to really be alive. To me. I mean, I don't know. I might, I might, I might just be spouting out uh, dumb crap. But no matter what, I'm glad you guys are here. Let's get back to this fool. Talk about this now because uh, Todd actually um, came in here and proved the point. You remember when God got blamed? He made the argument and said that it was God's fault for evil existing in the world. That's basically the argument that he was going to make. He was going to use the problem of evil and that stupid nonsense that's been destroyed a hundred billion times or whatever, right? So he basically saying that if God knew that Adam and Eve was going to sin, then it was his fault that sin existed because he put the tree in the garden. Now that actually goes directly against um, what scripture actually teaches because the Bible says that God is not the author of sin. What God does is he tests people. It's not the same thing as tempting people to sin. That is what the enemy does. And if you listen to the atheist arguments, every argument that they make is directly against God. There are no arguments, including the devil. There are no arguments, including Adam and Eve and the, and, and the fact that they made a decision to, do, to disobey him. And every time you come up with a naturalistic argument, argument that does not involve God, they want to play pretend like society works where, where people don't make rules and then people break them. Because if God was wrong for making rules, then human beings are wrong for making rules. They're going to sit there and say, well, that's not true, G-Man, because, you know, God, um, because God, uh, I'm sorry, because God is all knowing and human beings aren't. Hmm. That's a lame excuse. Okay, okay. Uh, my opinion on this, he's saying that everything an atheist would want to know about would have to do with the creator, God, the person who did it, not his pieces. Well, yeah, man, if I met uh, Parker Brothers, I want to talk to him. I'm not going to talk to the monopoly deck what the fuck are you talking about <laughs> i mean <laughs> do you guys know what i'm saying like yeah i'm gonna want to talk to god yeah devil and stuff but if there ain't no god then all that stuff goes out the window right i mean uh, yeah i can ask a question about like how many feathers does an angel have or something or whatevs or hey the devil exists but if god don't exist then what like you know what i mean folks i don't get it <laughs> Because He's humans, and, and this is the, this is why they gushed out and everything, and, you know, during the show when they did, because they know that this is an important point. All right, my mom and a dad both know what these children are capable of doing. Yet they still leave knives around. They still leave lighters around. They still uh, leave all these things laying around. Wow, I, wow, really screw you, dude, dude. That that old mod of Shanny's, Megan Hiltz said that she saw allegedly uh tinfoil with something in it with a lighter next to it it's laying around like you're saying in the bathroom and it was just sitting there when the camera got turned around so what are you talking about and those kids you know they'd walk in the room all the time the shane rev never locked the door and they know that these children would possibly pick them up uh i like what william lane craig said william lane craig said that the reason why um the reason one of the reasons why that tree existed in the garden and this is actually true this is the real truth not that nonsense you heard of yeah, coming out of the, uh, the troll's mouth on the show <laughs> and that is because of, because there needs to be a measuring stick to show like i uh, it looks like it's like g-man's hangout show like hey welcome back folks yay <laughs> that's what it looks like 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 everyone's like it's a g-man sleepover and he's gonna put like a get a projector put a movie on or something oh whether or not man loves Paddington God. See, God knows everything. Christmas I don't. Or something. The angels don't. There has to be a way to be able to determine um, 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 if man loves or maybe God. Maybe he's like right? a My Little Pony the guy. The Bible tells us in 1 John chapter 5, verse 3, it says, but this is the love of God that we keep his commandments and his commandments are grievous. This is the theme throughout scripture from the book of Genesis to the book of Revelation. Okay? It teaches us that this is the love of God that um, that 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 we keep his commandments and his commandments are not grievous. Right? Now, follow me here. I'm following. Adam and Eve trying. had an opportunity. They could choose to eat, to, to not <laughs> eat from the tree of the knowledge of evil, or they could choose, I'm saying they could choose not to do it, or they could choose to do it. The serpent came in, tricked them into believing it was okay to do it. They would be equal Fruit with God, bear. knowing good and evil, <laughs> or they would be like him, knowing good and evil. And they decided to disobey him and eat from the tree. That's the part no atheist ever brings up. All they want to do is God, 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 God. That's all they do. Think about this a minute yes, now. If that's true will, for Brett. God, you know then you as a parent should be blamed every time your child goes out there and murders somebody. That's your fault. 
when your child uh, uh, doesn't do well in school. That's your fault. What is this argument here? Yeah, uh, you mean like uh, like the child that uh, didn't uh, that failed the uh, the uh, online what's it called the online schooling of the year? Who was that, Carrie? I think you said it was Zach, right? Oh no, I'm sorry, it was Will. Uh, Zach's the younger one. The older child failed. So we're, again, what are you talking about? Or is this more projection on projection onto you, G Man? Is that what this is? Like, is this what you want to say to yourself? Because none of this, what you're saying to anybody, makes any type of sense. That's why most people will just make fun of you or laugh at you, or just like you know say these nuts, <laughs> instead of me actually telling you, man, I think this is projection. Because if you really can't see the child abuse, you have some problems, man. CPS just won't take kids for no reason. And Rev kicked the child now. So really, what excuse do you have? Are you going with the medication uh, bullcrap argument? Because that's not a good argument. Not good enough. You know, I, I, what, what does he say? Does he Or is he also going with the, uh, the argument of, oh, Rev was just not medicated the, the right way? And obviously, we True don't think rap. this way in our society. Then but it's only job. when you start debating atheists that they start arguing like that. Yeah, that's, I, I want Rev to debate why he thinks that Rev should not work and how that's good for his mental health. Maybe if Rev wasn't home 24 hours a day and he had a friggin' job, jerk off, maybe he wouldn't have kicked that kid. You ever think about that? Maybe he should have been working. You know, I can remember never seeing my father ever <laughs> by the time I went to sleep he got home <laughs> when I woke up he'd be gone and so I, it's just like it's just so stupid it's so it's so stupid he's so stupid folks he's so stupid he's so stupid <laughs> and to me it's a really dumb argument that is devoid of any real logic and doesn't have any reason attached to it whatsoever it is poor at best. Oh, it was the younger What one. it is, is it, it is excuse making. All right. But still, you, you know what I mean. It, he's throwing that back onto us, but that happened to his good friend that no one's supposed to talk about. Any criticism, doesn't matter if they put themselves out there and made themselves ridiculous for years. Nope. She's trying. She's doing her best. I mean, yeah, if she was actually doing her best, I would say it. I have no problem saying that. But she's not doing anything to help them. Yeah by denialists who just don't want to be held accountable. See, these same atheists will tell you that human beings need to take responsibility for the things that they do. You can't make that argument in a moral argument and then say that everything is God's fault. I know. For example, needs to get taken Bible, next. <laughs> rape has happened in the Bible. Was that, was that God's fault? Oh. But again, you know, I, I, Rev needs some serious help. You know, he's going to... If he doesn't get any help, he's going to be put in a position where he might be somewhere that someone has kids and might mouth off to them. And then, you know, his feet, you know, his face is going to be in the dirt, you know, allegedly, whatever. Because some people will not deal with that no matter what. And he needs to understand that he just can't start attacking children, even if he has this grandiose idea that he thinks he's their parent, which he's not. Definitely, definitely not. Maybe he's bought some things, but you got to do more than buy some things to uh, to be a parent. You know what I mean? You definitely do. Like, be there for them. Understand when they're upset. Work with that. Don't just, like, you know, just turn around and just kick them. I mean, what the hell? I mean, I don't know. Like, I don't understand some people. Like, yeah, we all have bad days, but just just walk away. Literally, just walk away. You've done it probably a million times, Rev. Murder happened in the Bible. Was that God's fault? The the Israelites was enslaved in Egypt. Was yeah. that God's fault? When does man take responsibility for for the things that they did? Tell me this: When Rev was um when 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 Rev did what he did that made all of you so angry, was that God's fault or was that Rev's fault? Last time I checked, when I watched y'all YouTube channel, y'all said it was Rev's fault. You said it was Shani's fault. The only reason you're bringing up God because you don't want to be responsible and you don't want to admit what we already know about you. That you know that God exists. You just suppress the truth about him and unrighteousness because without God, 
no atheist on the planet can make any rational or logical sense out of their Candyland worldview. You know, I, I, don't, I don't like that. That's not going to bring anybody to, to God. You know, if he'd say something like, yes, God exists. Why doesn't he do anything when certain things happen? Well, maybe he's cut off from the world like a radio antenna you got to get close to the signal right maybe something happened to the signal i would take that over Candyland world candy land world's not gonna forget bring anyone into his crazy ass religion they can't do it they can't do it if they could they would have made the argument by now well you know crash it's it's good to um uh question things i think that's a good healthy attitude you know, and no one ever knows, right? Until, unless it's you know Rev and Shani and, and, and the children involved. But uh, I think the way that Shani, I don't know, she didn't care about it. Well, that's really weird that she, she didn't really care that he did that. Like she didn't even go to the police station. There's so many holes in the story. They're like, who knows what to believe? You know what I mean? I don't believe in God because no one's, ever, no one's ever provided evidence. That's a lie and you know it. The moment when I say, well, have you heard of the presupposition argument? Of course I heard it. Then shut up then about there being no evidence. Have you heard about um, intelligent design? Oh, just shut up then about there, there, there not being no evidence. Have you heard about answer prayer? Oh, yes, I have. Then shut yeah, up about you there not being to. no evidence. <laughs> have you heard about um about the complexity of a cell? Oh, yes, I have. Then shut up by saying that there's no evidence. Evidence is presented all the time. The problem is that most atheists lie and equivocate and try to change the definitions to, to, to what evidence actually is. What you have to do when you're debating an atheist is make them define their terms. Oh, you want evidence. Exactly what does that mean? They hate it when you do that. They don't know how to tell you. Some of them will tell you that God's got to show up. That's not evidence. That, that's not evidence. That's just him showing up. And we're talking about evidence. And oh, Crash, the thing is, I'm trying to figure out how that could happen. I'll tell you, the only way that anything like that could happen is if one... It was members only because if it's on here <laughs> yeah uh it's statistic <laughs> but i was just saying if because you know you can normally get in trouble i would it would have to be a members thing so uh let, let me see what i can do to actually legally do that one of the ways i like to do it especially when i was on sj <laughs> thomas's channel you gotta think of a crime scene Right, and you come into this room and you see all these different things that happen. <laughs> it's the it, a real detective, not these fakes on YouTube that call them something. You know what? Never mind. <laughs> it's and look at fingerprints, <laughs> shoe prints, blood samples. They're gonna go in there. They're gonna look for hair samples. They're gonna try to figure out, you know, the way they were trained to figure out what happened in that room, how the crime actually happened, where the bullet came from. That's how you investigate. And when you find a fingerprint, even if you don't know who it is, when you find that fingerprint, that is evidence that a person was there. We don't know who it is yet, but we know that there's a fingerprint there. When we see the shoe print, we know that somebody with that particular shoe print was there. Don't give me that garbage that there's no evidence for the existence of God. When we go into the Big Bang, and you claim that, 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 that there's no such thing as a supernatural, and we say, where did the original matter come yeah. from to create the bang? Where did it come from? Where did the energy and the matter come from? Well, scientists don't know. Give me another, give me another alternative. Be honest. Mm. For once in your life, be honest. Give me another alternative. Is it possible that someone else... I mean, uh, I mean, I guess I could try some other platform. I don't know. I'll, I'll, I'll look. In, I'll look into them. Side of time and space caused the bang to happen. Is it possible? And if they say no, what they believe is religion, because now they can't prove it. You understand? They don't want to have these kind of discussions. And the reason why they don't want to have these all discussions right. is because they have a lot of these atheists. All right, all right, all right, all right. Quiet, G man. G man is just so. Blah, 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 blah. Uh, is anyone else come up? Because I think I have some a low cow compilation video I want to put out. And this way you guys can tell me um, if there's any other ones that I should uh, look at and react to. Because he's like, I don't know. G-Man is like a lot to take in with us. But that's like about, it's about like, uh, Yeah, about 28 minutes. So, I'll play that, and then I'll, I'll be in uh, for tonight. But, yeah, I, I can't. Two minutes too much. 
I try. I try. To, like, you know, I got to handle him in small doses, like for real. But I'll play this. And yeah, I can probably play the rest of that another time. He's just like, I, I just I just can't just be barked at. No, 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 no. On it. Go work on it. I am. Do you realize? Do you realize something? Let me so, tell you. Right, right. If the health department of Green County. I mean, everyone's seen Chris Chan. But Cyrax, you know, a couple of people have told me, but Cyrax kind of scares me. Three, oh, I almost man. took my fucking life a few minutes ago because of your bullshit bullying. You need to quit. How? You were screaming at me earlier and telling me that I- Because you deserve it, you piece of shit. <laughs> Same thing. Like, Shut it's up, hard for Marty. me to talk about him. I He's don't like, deserve shit. He's Everything look human. you've done to me needs to quit. He scares me. You need to back off! <laughs> enough is enough! And you know what? I think when you would be more terrified than his grandma's house. <laughs> is, isn't Cyrax dead? Is he? Is he? <laughs> I don't know. I, I have no idea. But, you know, like, I know to talk about certain people in certain communities, and then you get their people coming at you. He did? He did hit him up and hit you up in chat? You bought me for six <laughs> fucking years! It's oh time God. to grow up! <coughs> Be a man and schmeckle! Shut the fuck up, you We've loser! We've only known you for two I can't years, Cyrax. How is this? Hey, shit? Schmeckle! No one's, no one's shut known the fuck you for six up, years. Shut your mouth for you, you piece of shit! No one's known you for six years, Cyrax. Shut up, Schmeckle! Uh, That's why you don't... Like, people like him are, I think, above my pay grade. <laughs> you know, I'm like, I don't know if I want to go that far into the ocean. Get! Marty's known me longer than you have. No, he and didn't. I've known him for over three. <laughs> so trust me. Are you so no shit, you fucking loser? Shut your fucking mouth. And Marty, yeah. you need to back off. You're a narcissistic psychopath that hey. needs to fuck off. Did you attack that? <laughs> well, gee. Did you wish that you would you fuck you? off. I wouldn't have written the goal off. <laughs> Marty, shut up. I mean, there's talking about people. And then there's like, I don't All know. You do is bust I think it's just blogging a whole thing. No one gives a fuck. <laughs> no one cares. cares. <laughs> shut up, Schmeckle. No one gives a fuck, Marty. No <laughs> one gives a fuck what you think. You're a pussy ass coward who runs his fucking mouth like a bitch. <laughs> It's you time to shut up, grow up, man up, and get off the internet, you fucking coward. <laughs> if you're gonna do something, get off your fat, lazy ass, bring your ass up here, and do something. You I'm tired of you bullying me. <laughs> bring your fat <laughs> ass up here, you oh, fat God, cool. Come on. <laughs> I'm right in here. Come on. <laughs> Stop being a coward. Stop hiding like Yo, a did bitch. He, like you did he like stick his that good priest on straw on his dick or something? Why do kids do that? Kids and people like him. Marty. Come on, Marty. I know, Quit but Justin, like that's why I'm like, I don't think I want to touch him. You, know, you talk about, how you you talk about him, that. whatever. You want to touch that. <laughs> Bring your fat ass up here and do it. Bring Kid, your ass up here and do it. Why Yo, Onision will like, shit, go after me. Stop talking shit. If you can beat my ass, get off your ass and come up here and do it. He's Why do you hide behind the camera like a bitch? But he is. I can't even Bring say your anymore. ass up here. <laughs> Why come do you on. keep me? You got no. You got my address. Stop <laughs> making excuses. You're the only man. one who makes threats, Cyrex. No one makes threats hey, towards anyone cool. except you. Like you shut the and you know what? Him as well. I would love to know, like, where did this dude come from? You know, what community is he in? <laughs> you know, there's like so many questions when you meet new people. I've heard of him, but I, I don't know. <laughs> this seems like, you know, it's like truthfully Trisha. It's like, do I want to open this can of worms? 
and with her, a bunch of shit came out. <laughs> so I'm worried about going into other ones. Why don't you come up here, uh, Tyrex? Why don't you come up here and you want to do something? Shut up before I take your bed. Now, this is Fro Dragon Lord Frodo. He seems interesting. <laughs> He's someone I'm. All you fucking people do is sit there and fucking cyber bully me day in, <laughs> day out. I can talk about him. <laughs> I'm fucking tired of it. You know, because with him, it's not a birth defect. He, he's just fat. <laughs> you know, there's a difference, folks. You know, low-hanging fruit. Why do I have one viewer? No, bro, guy. Why do I? No, you, you are here. You are here. You are here. I'm sorry about that, dude. Um, I in, If you watch the video from the beginning... um. I talked about it. There was a nasty snake in my wrenches. And I took their wrench away because they were a nasty snake, bro. They blocked you and I think Brett and somebody else. For no friggin' reason. You guys never say anything messed up uh, in my chats. You guys are always cool in my chats. You know, there's no reason. You've been in my chat like a whole mess of times i've never said nothing uh but cool shit so yeah um i am sorry about that yeah it is messed up carrie um and i hope that uh people like uh david anthony unblocks or block on um, takes this person's wrench away at all as well because you know, to have somebody just mess up your whole chat by blocking people for no reason because they think you're somebody else's sock because they don't recognize you is just, it's just dumb. But uh, thank you for being here, bro. <laughs> We're just looking at some, a local rage compilation. I have one viewer. Why do I have one viewer? <laughs> I know I should say that. Why do I have 57 viewers? Fuck do I got one <laughs> fucking viewer? Why do I got a fucking like? You, you know, you can't see me, but I got shorts on. <laughs> you know what? Thank God for that <laughs> couch diaper that he has on that couch. <laughs> <laughs> that thing would stink like ass. All about the fucking lights. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right, Crystal Water. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you were fucking all about the fucking lights. Enough with the fucking lights. <laughs> Yo, he's got a pants wedge, short wedgie. <laughs> oh, man. this this is his name is dragon lord frodo there's a dragon lord and this is dragon lord frodo i'll try to make sure i get everybody's name you have to try to go around town is this real <laughs> yeah 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 it, it, it's real all right um <laughs> He had a channel, and the channel got terminated for terms of service violations. Surprise, surprise. And um, he's back just playing video games, but every so often, every so often, he uh, 
uh, you know, we'll get a, a stream like this. It's almost like a male shanty for Christ. Try to do something different. And then Why do I have one viewer and five minutes? I go fucking what the fuck? <laughs> Why do I only have one fucking viewer? What the fuck? Five fucking minutes. Oh, what fucking coming? You <laughs> bye. And I'll see you later. The pieces of shit. Yeah. <laughs> I don't care. I don't care anymore. I don't yeah. care. I'm fucking nuking the channel. No one wants to comment anymore. No one wants to fucking oh. comment. I just broke my fucking pimp chalice. The fuck? Thank you. Thank you. You just broke my fucking pimp chalice. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Just fucking broke. Fucking break. You like that? Fucking you like that break. Fat fucking no. Philly guy donated two dollars through super chat. You like that? That one viewer is you getting like a that, good show. You fat. <laughs> Thanks, Philly guy. You're right. <laughs> uh, well, you know what? I think it, it's all about timing with YouTube. <laughs> you just didn't wait that long enough. Fucking break. There you go, bro guy. The fuck. She. No one can take you away again, bro guy. I don't care. I don't care. Sit there and fucking cyber bully me some more. A fucking loser. Okay, now this guy's called. <laughs> this one's called King Cobra JFS. Wow, he's. Got satellite playing <laughs> the fucking Star Spangled Banner right now. It's pissing yeah. me off. <laughs> <laughs> I've never seen like I've I've only knew of like Cyrax and Chris Chan. So these other people are new to me. I've never seen them. Ah! It pisses me off. <laughs> <laughs> like okay. I've spent oh, he's a musician. Years he's got a creepy ass doll. Patriotic. Pa what? Patriotic? <laughs> Fuck the haters! Patriotic. <laughs> nah. <laughs> Stupid fucking liar. Fuck you! Yeah, I'll turn it down. Hey, Liner. Fuck you. You don't like being beat up. You don't like it. You don't like it. You don't fucking like it. Then maybe you should fucking go against the grain. Well, you know what? You know, I'll play these, and then at the end, you guys tell me which one you think I should cover in a future video, like in the comments. Thanks, I appreciate it. Beat you up, you piece of shit. <laughs> She's having a conversation with us. <laughs> oh. God damn it! Fuck <laughs> <laughs> my fucking cigarette! Fuck! <laughs> 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 He's blowing the gum. Fucking social media doesn't give a shit! Fuck you! Fuck you! Fucking <laughs> What's up with this shit? chair? Fuck you! They put a hole in it for like a soda Fuck can? <laughs> yeah, of course. 
my drink has to spill. I lose my fucking temper over these stupid fucking assholes. And no one's gonna feel sorry for me because it's just like you did it to yourself, dude. You had a fucking drink combo and you had to lose your fucking autistic temper. Let me try the next Some, guy. some uh, bell peppers. This in guy there. is a little broth. Jason healthy, Genova. Low carbs. I don't know any of these guys. my, uh, my, um, Okay, this is this mom. Shut up! But she walked away. She was, she was. No, I had to get my camera. You, away. <laughs> you do this. You go to the bathroom. You get your phone. You, you, you. you stop it! I mean, why do people record this? I mean, you feel like they got no common sense. Stop it! Whoa, Jason, chill out. Come oh, here. Stop it! 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 Yeah. Stop it! Stop it! Stop it! <laughs> Wait, not this guy, the other guy. I will! Leave me alone! Oh, is that what it is? Oh, okay. Make, the voice makes sense. Uh, it's dark. Um... You know what? I should have put that together. Like, you know, like the, the, the wimpy ass voice. <laughs> the being at a gym. You know, they'd be like, you know, being at a strip club and having having money in your hand. Like, uh, there's something's happening here. I just don't know what. You can see my face barely. <laughs> my mom's being a cunt. Oh, who's this now? This is, uh, this is, uh, Wings of Redemption. I've actually heard of this dude. All right, I've heard of this dude, too. And now I just broke his uh, PlayStation. I don't know him either. I mean, I barely know him. You know, I knew of a lot of people, but it's like, I guess a lot of these people either aren't around anymore or something. Wings is born? Okay. Uh, okay. All right, guys, if they join session again, I'm, I'm just going to have to fuck. Player man, can't even say the end of my set here. Oh. Fucking stupid game. I mean, I feel like if someone rages over a game, it's not that big a deal. But you know what? I think, uh, all right, so you guys let me know about that. I'll actually do a little bit more G-Man, and then I'll probably call for tonight. It's just, G-Man just so, I don't know. He just sucks the life out of me. He's a succubus. Their minds are made up already. They, they don't want to believe <laughs> that God exists. They have to come to you saying that, well, if you provide me evidence, then I'll believe. That's not true. That is an old game that these atheists play. They're not looking for evidence. What their goal is, is to do is to, is to deny, 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 frustrate you, and get you to believe that their proposition is true without providing you a shred of evidence for their claims. And, and, and that's what I was trying to do in a non secular show. But you can't do it when you're in the middle of talking and people are interrupting you. Interrupting you. you can't do it when um, trolls are coming in and trying to change the topic. Oh, okay. They can call my arguments archaic all they want. I don't see none of them beating it. But you don't have a solid argument. You have just like excuses for your bad behavior. That's not an argument. You know, give me give me a reason why uh, those kids shouldn't have been taken or why Rev didn't have a job. <gasps> there he goes. Oh. 800 bucks. I spent 100. He man gave me the best dick the other day. It was so good. <gasps> Carrie donated $5 through Super Chat. All these dudes need anger management. I know, Carrie. Thank you very much. That thing takes forever. It's slow. I'm telling you. I don't know about you guys, but uh, with me especially, the internet was has been wonky. Like on my phone yesterday, I had like no cell service or anything. And I'm like, what the hell's going on? I mean, you guys, you let me know. Have you had anyone else has had a problem like with internet? It's just everything's either slow or just not working as crisp as it should. But thanks, Carrie. I appreciate it. Like I said, it is what it is. And I'm gonna tell Todd something. Todd, by you coming in here and saying whatever you said when you came in, <laughs> right? When you came in here and said what you said, 
by having Monty come in here and say the things that he said. When he did. <laughs> Last ten dollars for the night. Asshole. I got to go watch room. Shani and Rev's only it fans for the third like time today. M M M M M M good. It smells. <laughs> Thank you, Chris. <laughs> good. Also, the internet is on fire. Oh yeah. Yeah, it's like it's just weird. A lot of people are either having problems with certain videos playing right or it's just not working out or just not getting internet at all on their phones. Yeah, it sucked. I like I totally was like blind. I couldn't make calls, I couldn't do anything until I got back to my house and then got on the Wi Fi. The Wi-Fi. Why is it wrong for me to talk about Monty? Thanks, Monty? Crash. Well, in my opinion, no one cares about your opinion. I have my opinion. My opinion is nothing wrong with doing it. <laughs> no, I'm not saying that's my opinion, but I'm just arguing right now, right? So, if his opinion is that you can't, in my opinion, it is, who's right? I mean, can you imagine this, the smell of that house? Ugh. Or that tent, or that whatever that they're in. <laughs> ugh, ugh. It's got to be nasty. Who's wrong and why? And atheists can't tell you. You know she ain't showering. You want to know why? You want to know why? Because atheists build their morality on thin air. On yeah, me nothing, too, man. On their own personal opinion. It is not based on anything solid or substantial. You have to know these arguments intimately before you can actually talk to another person about it. You know what I mean? So what happens when you have an atheist that goes out there, ladies and gents, right? Um, what happens when you have an atheist going out there telling you that you're a horrible person? Because atheists do this all the time. Have you ever heard a good deconversion story on why atheists left religion? <laughs> That'd be funny to think that she was in a tent. I mean, they're probably back at the house. They probably talked him into it. Which is still not a good idea. I mean, yeah, she deserves to be in a tent all day. <laughs> Living that tent life. <laughs> I mean, I don't know why they would either just get a job or just be, get on disability if, if they really, really can't. I mean, at least Shani's going to at least lose some weight no matter what. <laughs> they can have money to pay for anything. <laughs> the reason why they left religion, according to them, and, and, I, and, I'm, and I'm to this very day, Afro-Humanist is a liar, Miss Parker's a liar, Dragnet, every last one of these atheists are lying, and I'm going to prove it to you, okay? They sit there and say, well, I don't like how Christians judge other people. You're an atheist and you do that every day. You obviously have no, oh, I, I get it, I get it. You don't like when Christians do it to other people, but you do it every single day. All right, that's it for, for G-Man for tonight. I just, he just keeps talking in circles. Circles, 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 no matter what. It's all the same thing. You're a bad atheist, whatever, even if you're not. And how dare you talk to my me about my friends. The same crap. Winter's coming, <laughs> right? <laughs> exactly, Dave. We're in September. Winter is coming. You know, she can't be in that in that tent or whatever trailer bullcrap forever. <laughs> but that's it for tonight, guys. Thanks for being here. I like the stream. I appreciate it. I appreciate you. And uh, let's seriously just try to keep the... Uh, drama out of the community because every well everybody every creator and i talk to basically everybody you guys would be surprised um no one wants any part of this you know so let's just keep it out of our thing you know if someone has a problem with something or with somebody try to be adults and work it out you can't work it out don't just cry to creators because if you don't take our advice i don't know what else to tell you you're not, you know, block and move on. You think, you know, everybody gets hate comments, block and move on. It's really it. Otherwise, maybe this ain't the right thing for you if you can't handle it. But that's it for tonight. Thank you all for being here. Thank you, Crash and Carrie and um, I feel like God. I really, really uh, appreciate it. But that's it. Like the stream and I'll see everyone on the next one. Peace, guys.